Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Arlington Weekly News. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Nolan. And I'm Daniel Pineda. And I'm Rich Masadin. And uh, we've got a great show here tonight, what we think is a great show, news and community bulletin board items. Uh, Rich and his reviews. You ready? That's true, and I got a great restaurant for you too. And another new restaurant. Yes. We like restaurant what reviews. What I do, what I do for this show. What you do, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad to have you here, and uh, then we'll be back, and Daniel and I will uh, have some news for seniors, and then we'll wrap up our show with uh, Pia Samre, and she's talking with Sister Jenna about meditation, something we'll get all use from time to time. So stay tuned from that for that, but. Uh, here we go um, with the first of our stories, Daniel. And Craig, before we bring you the news, we want to remind you that the Arlington Weekly News is now available on YouTube. Yes, Just point are. your computer to www.youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News. That's all one word. Point your computer. <laughs> all right. Here we go. The Arlington Police Department is asking for the public's help to identify a man who they'd like to talk to concerning a burglary at a North Arlington church. The man is shown in the police website photos going into the Mount Ella Olivet United Methodist Church in the 1500 block of North Glebe Road. This happened on August 1st. If you have any information that may be helpful to this investigation, please call the Arlington County Police tip line at 703-228-4242 or call Arlington Crime Solvers at 866-411-TIPS. That's 866 866- Four one one eight four seven seven. Crime Solvers offers a reward of up to one thousand dollars for information leading to an arrest. You do not have to give your name or testify in court. Daniel. And the Arlington Police Department want you to know that it's joining with law enforcement agencies nationwide in a campaign against driving while impaired between August the twenty first and September the seventh, called Drunk Driving Over the Limit under arrest. The national crackdown is being led by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. It combines high visibility law enforcement with advertising and publicity. The administration reports that in 2007 almost 13,000 people died in crashes where drivers or motorcycle riders had blood alcohol levels of more than 0.08 percent. More information on the crackdown is now available on www.stopimpaireddriving.org. And finally, in our news items, Arlington Public Schools has announced preliminary results of how they compare to Virginia accreditation standards and the federal No Child Left Behind Act. Based on these preliminary test results from the past school year, all of Arlington Public Schools are fully accredited. In addition, 17 Arlington schools met all the targets required to meet adequate yearly progress. Details on the preliminary results for Arlington Public Schools are available at their website, www.apsva.us. And that's good news. Daniel. 